Hey there, Cynthia here with The Nameless Homestead, and today I'm gonna teach you how to trim your goat's hooves. Trimming your goat's hooves is a very important husbandry skill to learn, and it's really not all that hard. So if you want to learn how to be able to manage your goat's hooves on your own, please stick around in this video. The first thing that we're going to take a look at are the tools that we need for the job. Really, all you need is a good pair of shears. You can get these on Amazon or your local feed store. I'll put some links below. Uh, no affiliation. This isn't sponsored. But these little green-handled guys are my personal favorite. And if you really want to step up your hoof trimming game, you can go ahead and get yourself a fancy little hoof pick with a brush on the end. And I'll show you how those parts come in handy here in a moment. The second thing that we need to learn is anatomy. Goat's nails aren't honestly too terribly different from our own. They grow a nail portion and they have a portion that's very similar to the fingertip. Let's go ahead and get one of the girls in here and I can show you exactly what I mean. So I have Penny here and hopefully I can work quickly because she's gonna be loud and mad at me as soon as she's done with her grain. The first thing that you do is, especially as a beginner, is to clean the hoof well, as you can tell, Penny's back hoof here is full of mud and rock. We've had a lot of rain lately. And by getting her hoof nice and clean and picked out, I can better see the anatomy that I need to recognize in order to do a proper hoof trim. So let's get you all cleaned up, sweet girl, so we can start your pedicure. Okay. Now that we're mostly clean, Penny is, of course, getting done with her grain, so let me give her another scoop real quick. Get some extra snacks, Penny, sweetie. Good girl. Okay. So there's only a few basic parts that you need to know. This is the nail of the hoof. The exact same material that this is is for our nails. This is the frog, and this is the heel. So we have the nail or the wall, hoof wall, and the frog and the nail. Oh, and then here, of course, is the toe. Toe, heel, wall, frog. And what we're trying to do is we're going to try to get the wall of the hoof, which is the nail portion, to the same level as the frog and the heel. You'll notice on the side of your goat's hoof, there are these very faint lines. They're almost like the rings of a tree. And they all go the same direction, par parallel with the band at the top of their hoof. In the ideal trim, all of these lines will be nice and parallel to each other and you'll cut to those growth lines. This is most easily seen on a nice washed, clean hoof. So if we can't pick out any dirt or yuckiness, she is just now needing a trim. You can tell that this hoof wall here has kind of folded over onto the frog. You can even peel it back and make it stand up straight. And that's when it starts to become a problem and it really needs to get taken care of because that pocket under there is a great place for bacteria and yuckies to hide under and cause illnesses like hoof rot or fungal infections. So let's go ahead and start by trimming back that excess hoof wall. It is better to make a s many series of small cuts than to go too fast and take off too much and make your an the animal bleed. Goats, similar to dogs, have a quick. And if you cut too deep, you'll cut the quick and make them bleed. Which, generally you can't do too much to harm them, but it's, you know, quite uncomfortable. You can get blood stop powder material or use things like flour straight out of your cabinet in order to stop bleeding. Now you'll notice here on the frog, if I can get the color to show up, I might have to turn up the contrast. You can see where it's more white and creamy here, and it's a little more pink tinged in the center. That's how you know you're getting close to the quick and to stop cutting and don't cut any deeper than that. But we want to try to get off all this yucky stuff and make a nice clean line on the hoof. Everything nice and level is what we're going for. Thank you. 
Hold still, Penny. No fussing for me now. Yep, no fussing for me now. Okay, now let's check and see how good of a job we did so far. Now, as you can tell, this hoof oops, is much more flat to the ground and even than that hoof is on the back. The toe is longer. It's not a significant difference because of course I keep up on my goat's hooves. I don't let them get wildly overgrown. But you can see a nice slight rhombus shape to the hooves and that's exactly as they should be. Her front hooves are absolutely gorgeous and might not even need trimming. It's common that goats, depending on their environment, may or may not need trimming on a certain schedule. Oh, no, no, they could use a little bit. See, there's still some fold over. There's not a whole lot, but there is still this fold over on the edges that we want to get rid of. That's why it's important to take a look at this point and not when they have elf shoes going over and they're obviously deformed because her hooves right from the outside, they look pretty good, don't they? But then of course, as soon as they're picked up, oh, that's not so pretty, is it? Lovely little pockets for bacteria and fungus to hang out in. Let's get that cleaned up for you, sweetheart. All right, a million times better. You don't have to go all the way down to the pink in all areas all the time. Her heels didn't even need trimmed here. It's all nice and level without having to cut back too much. So much better. What do you think? You're not even eating all your grain because you got so much because you're being so naughty kicking around. Huh, Penny Pants? So that's really all there is to it. It's not a terribly sophisticated procedure. It's not nearly as difficult as anything like a horse hoof. As long as you keep in mind those few pieces of anatomy, you remember where the quick is, you remember to stop where the frog starts to turn pink, and you remember to keep track of those growth rings in the hoof and cut parallel to those, you should... <laughs> You should do very well for yourself. If things come up where maybe you were trimming in the wrong way for too long and so now a hoof is deformed, I would highly suggest you join us on our other social media pages. I or other people who've been doing this for a little bit longer or who have more experience are always happy to ask questions. So don't forget to check the description box below for all of our social media links. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you can be updated the next time <laughs> we upload a video.